If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be opening up some 87 to 88 exchange, exchange packs, some elite packs, and a few other packs that I have accumulated the last few days that I want to kind of put into a video. See if we can test their luck here. I had, I had a bunch of gnats, right? I did the I did the solo sequence. I believe it was I think it was campaign. No, it might have been Gridiron Forge. You know those packs that I was telling you guys about, which was the gold plus packs. Now these packs I've been telling you guys for years. I don't know what my luck is with these packs. Last year I pulled DeAndre Hopkins out of them, and this year once again they kind of just went crazy for me for the most part. Now I, okay, I had a feeling I was in the wrong area. All right, well those those packs have been going crazy for me for years now. I don't know why, and they're always not players of course, right? So Gridiron Forge, you go here, and you go to let's see, it was at the top. It was milestones. Uh, you're gonna see right up here. We're gonna get pro fantasy packs, gridiron packs, and elite packs. I earned the elite pack right here, right? I still have that for you guys. And then I have the campaign, which has its own milestones, which are gold or, gold or better nats, as well as a few other things here. So those gold or better nat packs, I ended up pulling a Stefan Diggs out of them, and a Dalvin Cook, and a Michael Thomas. So I now have three players that can go into the exchange. So I will be doing an exchange with those players right there. Now the exchange will get me an 87 to 88. Now before we get into the rest of the video. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, give this video a comment, let me know down below if you guys have done these exchanges, let me know how those are doing for you guys. This exchange could be good. Now if we get an 87 guys, it's going to be, I'm going to make money no matter what, because I did get those players from free packs. So this is a good way to exchange your nats and kind of upgrade them to better players. Now if you're going to have to pay for this set, it is a little bit risky, right? Because you could potentially get an 87 that's really, really bad and price wise like a Tom Brady or something and end up kind of losing, losing half your money there. But for me, it's going to be a double no matter what. Now, preferably, I want Tyree Kill, Aaron Donald, Rams. I'd even be cool like Devonta Adams. I'd probably start him, actually. He's pretty good. His route running is actually going to be really good for online and stuff. So there's some good players that I can potentially get from this. So I'm going to go ahead first and open up the Elite Player Pack. But yeah, guys, if you need coins? Head over to my reserve down below. Use code Poodle at checkout, 15% off. Comment down below. Poodle, uh, comment down below. Whatever you guys want to comment down below. I'm Hopefully, I can pull some heat out of this. So some unopened packs I do have want to start with. I have my elite pack right here. This is the first one. I want to do the exchange. Now, the elite pack here, I'm going to end up closing my eyes for the elite pack. And then I'm going to go do the exchange. I'm going to come back. I'm going to check my lineup and see what we pull. I love doing it that way. So, I got to look away in just a second. Hold up. Hold up. Is it, are we good? All right, all right. I'm going I'm to fly through this. Okay. I'm going to fly through this. I'm going to fly through this. Okay, I saw nothing there. So, that's one right there. I love doing it this way because it's always so interesting to go ahead and actually go check later in the lineup. Go one by one through the team and see what we got. Now I'm going to go over to sets and do the exchange set. So to show you guys the exchange that I was referring to, it's going to be the player exchange. And uh, the player exchanges are pretty cool. There's a bunch of them. So if you guys have a bunch of like gold, you can always just put them into here. You can put three into here like this and go ahead and get a pretty easy elite pack. Now, I have a ton of gold, so I'd be able to do this for days, honestly. I could make probably like 20 base elites right here. Then you could turn these. Um, these are going to be, sorry, 20 like high golds. So like 30 high golds depending on how many i have and i can go ahead and put those high golds into here which in the same case you can go ahead and do this so it takes six of them and i can get any 80 to 82 and i have approximately 35 so i can do about i could do just about six of them so i could do six uh lower goal elites and then i can put those elites into here which is three so i can make two 83 to 84s and i can go here and then potentially make an 83 to 80, 85 to 86 you can essentially change your golds all the way up throughout the chain Luckily for me, I do happen to have this pack right here. Now, I hope it doesn't open instantly. That's kind of what I feel like is going to happen. So, we have Stefan Diggs. Now, I actually was starting Stefan Diggs, so it's kind of upsetting to get rid of him. But I know I'm not really using him. He's kind of just there just to chill. Uh, 85 speed. He's not bad. But at the end of the day, he's not going to be there long term. Neither is Dalvin Cook, because Dalvin Cook never really is a meta card. And then, of course, we do have the Michael Thomas. So all the players are in. We have the pack right here. Now, 87 to 88. To show you guys real quick. Just so you guys, if you guys want to try this yourself, I'm going to show you guys how the math works. That's important. People might just see this. I can pull some banger. People are going to go ahead and do it. I want to show you what the downsides are and what the upsides are. Because I'm not, I'm not the kind of person to just open this pack and be like, oh, it's a banger. It's a banger. Gotta do it. No, no. Because that's not the case. I mean, I'm only doing, truthfully, I'm only doing this because I do know for certain that I'm going to profit off this pack for the most part. So we go to 86 to 87, right? Because you can potentially pull an 87. If we scroll down here. The cheapest 87, again, this isn't properly filtered, so it could be a little bit cheaper or vice versa, but Justin Tucker around a 70K and same with Tom Brady. So worst case scenario, I'm going to make the 70K. Not the greatest. It's going to be a little upset, but I can always sell them. I see this as a way to exchange my Nats for you know money, and then I can go buy the uh, Elite that I actually want. And then as we move on down a little bit more, guys, um, 
the the good 87 starts to come right around up here where you see like fred warner's a little bit more expensive now who i'd want starts about one more when we're down when we're down when we're threshold down i prefer be like an 87 in this range i would take like a tj watt he's pretty good i would take quentin nelson he's okay miles garrett would be good i would definitely take khalil mack i would take jair alexander i would take mccaffrey although i would sell mccaffrey i'd probably start jair and then tyree kill of course is the banger of all bangers he's the best one in the game to pull just off this price point then of course it comes to the 88s 89s and all these are pretty good i mean i would be mad about Mahomes because that would just be a sell and probably kelsey honestly but i would like Devonta adams i'd probably actually use him because Devonta adams is really really good of course i mean 84 speed he's actually on the slower side i thought he was 85 speed i don't know i don't really know if i'd like any of these guys i prefer i want tyree kill uh i want Jair alexander maybe mccaffrey derrick henry i'd probably just sell instantly and ramsey i would see if i could work into my lineup Aaron Donald, of course, is a beast. You can't go wrong with Aaron Donald literally ever. So, I mean, I'd probably rock with Aaron Donald as well. And, yeah, that's pretty much it here. I mean, I wonder if... I don't think you pull a platinum player, but if you could for whatever reason, that'd be pretty awesome. But let's get into this pack, and then we're going to go back to our lineup and check out what we actually have, because we could have some decent stuff sitting there. I mean, whatever. So, I'm going to close my eyes for this. Comment down below. Type some luck. Like the video. Okay, let's open this up. Please give me Tyreek Hill. Please give me Tyreek Hill. Did I back out? Did I back out? All right, all right. If I got Tyreek Hill, that'd be absolutely crazy. But as you guys know, I don't think I got luck like that personally. We got to try. Okay, so let's start with uh, let's start with a halfback. Did we pull Derrick Henry? We did not. Although I do see a Chris Carson. Although I think I've had Chris Carson. Okay, so let's trip the bandit off. Let's test for Tyreek Hill. Did we get Tyreek Kill? We did not. Now, we may have pulled a Chris Godwin from our first elite pack, actually, because I'm almost positive I did not have two Chris Godwins. That's kind of depressing. All right, let's check tight ends. The Kelsey. It's not Kelsey. Ooh, I think I just saw it. We got David Bach, right? That's what we got. Uh, it's, I guess it's okay. It's okay. Now, did, did we pull Chris Godwin? Was, was that it? I, I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure we did not have two Chris Godwins. I'm going to go start by newest. All right, so David Bach isn't bad. I guess I'd probably start him. He's a pretty, he's a pretty good player. I mean, it just sucks. I just got Laramie Tunzel. All right, and we got... Did we pull two elites? Oh, we pulled two elites out of that elite pack. Okay, so I'll actually take that. I actually just bought Braden Smith, so I'll probably go ahead and sell this one. So that's not a bad pack. I mean, I could sell Chris Godwin for 10k. Ah, that kind of sucks. I sell him for 10k. I don't know. These these elites are really cheap this year. I guess the elite packs plus all the platinum packs. 12k, so that's actually 22k. And then David Bakhtiari. I'd assume goes for no more than like 75. 80k. So actually might start him. Really good left tackle. I'm just gonna look at the stats real quick. I want a Tyreek Hill. Uh, the pass blocking is really good. I guess for a left tackle, that's important, right? Maybe I'll power him up, but he's not Nats. So maybe I should just go ahead and sell him. He's a thinker. He's definitely a thinker for sure. If I sell him, I'll have about 100K. I mean, I'll get about 80K, so I'll end up at a little over 200K, which will leave me still kind of still kind of low for Tyreek Hill. I don't know. Comment, what you think, comment down below what you think. Should I keep or sell David Bakhtiar? He's a really good one, but he can't run block too well. And again, I'm not entirely sure how much the O-line matters so far this year. It's just not something I've really done too much. I, I haven't really noticed just yet how well good O-line actually holds up this year. For In terms of the run game, I definitely noticed it a little bit. But yeah, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. I will hold on to him for now and see what I do. Thank you guys for watching, though. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Comment down below. Like I said, let me know if I should keep David Bach. Let me know if you guys end up doing this set. I personally don't think it's worth it. But again, I, it was worth it. If you were like me and you had multiple elite nats, it's worth it. David Bach's not bad. He's decent. But yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Comment down below, subscribe, turn that notification bell, head on over to my reserve down below, and use code POODLE at checkout for 15% off your order. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.